quick one welcome back to my channel i have one wig i want to revamp let's do this together because i think i get strength when i do this and i know that okay i'm doing this with people it just kind of makes sense to me this week i'll be showing you this week you guys know this week already like i go to stores i go outside and people be like oh this is so lovely your hair is so lovely your hair, your hair is so nice that kind of thing and i'm like I don't tell them do, but they literally believe that it is my hair because of course, because of my skin and everything. It just looks like my hair. I don't even know why, but when I was coming to Canada, that was the wig I came with to Canada. And I love wigs, by the way. I'm a wig person. I've not done braids in a long time, so wigs are my thing. I used to do them a lot back in Nigeria, but you know the way it is now, there's no time. Do you want to take care of my wigs? There's no time, but this one I really need to take care of it because it's already looking like sponge. It's not supposed to be that way. So let's do this together. On a normal day, when I was in Nigeria, I would have gone through the whole like TLC step by step. I'll put it on a tripod, brush it. But this one is the Canada way. Let's do this wig revamp the Canada way because another reason why I'm doing this video is for those that are interested. Like somebody just got in touch with me some days ago to recommend someone to her. She was like, they charged that $300 to revamp a wig. She was like, tell me, how much did I buy the wig? How much am I revamping it? So if you have the money, of course, you can do the services. Is it out of three things? Is it that that service is too high for you? Probably your budget. I'm sure you might say lower. Or is it that you go for that one? Or is it that you go for look for a different person that can do it for you? Or you do it yourself? Sometimes doing all these things yourself also takes time. I do DIY, but there are other times I'll just be like, please, Take my money, but the take my money depends on the kind of money you're paying. If it's not within your budget, then it's not within your budget. So if this is something that you might want to do as well, for coiling wigs especially, coiling wigs are like one of the easiest because after rewashing it and everything, you're not doing a lot more to it again. But when it comes to like straight wigs, you still need to style it. So those are the ones that I run away from. I can style them, but if I can have someone style it for me. I might, but it depends on the money. I don't have $300 to revamp even a straight wig with bouncy wig. I would rather do it myself. So for this one, let's do it together. It might not be as top notch, but it's still something. And it's better than you just tossing it into the washing machine. I know we've gone past that, right? I used to do that like 10 years ago, 15 years ago, but not now. Ah, no, it's, no, we can't, we can't be doing that. I tried it one time. It's one of my most expensive wigs. Fumi, the real Fumi wigs, the real Fumi hair, not even the wig, sorry. That was like, that was no wig at that time. Those were the weft wigs that like, you attach like wave on, like you put on your hair. And I wanted to, then there was even no revamping and I just thought I could, what was I thinking of? Like seriously, I'm one of those people, yes, I plead guilty, I am so sorry. I put my hair, my wave on then as at that time, in the washing machine and it came out all tangled, like tangled. Goodness, does not want about it for me. <laughs> I couldn't even open my mouth to tell them what I did. Thankfully, I had to like buy another one, and I was still able to save some strands and everything. And I made it into a wig. So now I know better. I went for a lot of training on how I could do my wigs, and I'm so grateful for that. So don't let me continue talking. Let's go. Let's do this wig thing together. And like this wig, guys, that's so hard. Let's go and bump it. So, see so the whole pretz. See so the wig is looking so you can see. This not like I minorly dwelling it, but the closure part, especially. I've worn this wig for at least one year since I arrived in Canada and I've not touched it, I've not done anything to it. It's looking, the closure part, especially, is looking like not so good, not so nice. If you get what I mean, and it definitely needs some retouching, it needs me to do something to it. So, the first thing I would do is just closure. There's really nothing wrong with if it was tangled, it's not tangled underneath, it just needs like products. So what I'll just do is it's just this top I will brush. I'll be brushing the closure parts. Don't worry. To come back. To come back. And if you have all this kind of wigs and you want it very voluminous, just brush it. But this one already has a lot of volume. I use 400 grams and this kind of wig already has volume. It's like a kinky kind of wig. 
people really 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 like it if you like large hair you like big voluminous hair you like it so the part that is tangled is the only one i'm brushing i'm not going to be brushing every other part the real point is not necessary i just think just like the way you take care of your natural hair the wig also needs that product it looks dry yeah that's the word it looks very dry no luster nothing it looks very dry and it looks like it needs food and it's food that means we're giving it today but you don't in fact i will give condition this week so it needs a little a lot of am i saying a little bit because this kind of weed naturally you see how voluminous it is like see the volume this kind of weed naturally needs a lot of products and i've not been giving it products so it's suffering and that's what i'm going to be doing so if you have this kind of coily weed once in a while you need to deep condition it. If you deep condition your hair, you should deep condition your wig as well. Especially if it is raw or human hair, not synthetic. Of course, synthetic. You know, synthetic wigs don't need all this kind of TLC. Just, just throw it away. But if it is human hair, it needs some TLC. So it just needs to be washed, and I'll be putting a lot of product. Let's just, I'm washing it now. Okay, so guys. I have a wig here. I hope I have a big bucket that will contain it. This wig is heavy. What? I don't think it's really, it's not so dirty though. If it was in Nigeria, it's not like dirty, but it's not so dirty. I'll just be using my shampoo, I'll be using my hands to gently work on the closure parts, just like so. No tugging, no pulling. If it is really dirty, then you can add some apple cider vinegar. But if not, there's no need. I'm not going to. It's not so dirty. It's not so dirty to be honest. It's not so dirty. No tugging, no extra tugging, not too much. See, it's actually dirty, but well, not as bad as I would have thought. And I'm using warm water. I like when these wigs are like wet. I like it. I like it the best when it's like mid wet. See, I love the color so much. I love the color. So I'm not going to be raising a lot. So this is what I want to do now. Let me just put it here. So I'll be using this to no more shampooing. I'm done with shampooing. So I'm going to be using this deep conditioner. And this is the time going condition as well. I'll be mixing both and I'll leave this for like overnight. Let it enter well. You we'll say raise it up after 10 minutes, but I don't raise it up immediately because this coily hairs need a lot of products. So I'm just going to like deep condition this now. So I'm using these two conditioners. Oh, 
I'll be leaving it overnight. If you want, you can tie it in a plastic bag. But I think it's okay for me like this. If you want to really, my bathroom is very, very warm. So I can just leave it in the bathroom like this. If not, if you really want to really also deep condition, you can tie it in a plastic bag and leave it overnight. So people don't like do it in the microwave, like a little bit of boiling. But like I said, my bathroom is really warm too. So this on its own is fine. I'll just leave it like this. And I'll be washing this off tomorrow. I'll brush it and stuff, and that's it. So, see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.